Hey everybody! Those of you who have been following my channel know that I typically image with a Celestron Nexstar 6 SE, which is a 6 inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. However, about a year ago, I started to experiment with using camera lenses with uh, the astrophotography camera, and I was able to get a Rokinon or Samyang 135mm f2 astrograph, and that is a lens I absolutely love. So uh, recently, I was looking at something that would fit the in-between space uh, between the 135mm Rokinon and the 1000mm reduced uh, 6SE. And I had my eye on a couple of different camera lenses. And I first tried one that was a Nikon Tamron. Uh, that was a telephoto lens uh, of uh, up to 300 millimeters. Uh, and then I realized that that really wasn't an ED lens and it wasn't giving me the type of sharpness and definition I was looking for. So I started looking for uh, something a little bit more vintage. I figured, well, uh, if the astrograph from Samyang worked out that well, could there be some historical lenses that were very high quality that I could get at a bit of a discount? And I came across a fantastic lens that I got for a very fair price. It was the Nikon uh, Nikkor 300F fixed focal length f4.5 ED lens. So this lens comes with uh, seven optical components and six groups. Uh, and although it was never intended for astrophotography, it had some pretty good reviews. So uh, in this video, I took the lens out for a spin by imaging M11 using my, uh, shall we say, Frankenstein mount, which is a Celestron SLT mount sitting on a bit of a wedge running in equatorial mode. The mount was running with guiding using a SV Boney 50mm guide scope and SV Boney guide camera. Needless to say, I'm very happy with the results, and uh, I learned something new. There are some really great vintage lenses, like this one here, manufactured between 1978 and 1999, which can perform very well for astrophotography. They might not win any awards, but in terms of personal satisfaction, they could really get the job done. As a matter of fact, when I think about it, there are a ton of vintage lenses available out there. Looking at uh, Facebook Marketplace, looks like the prices range from about 50 bucks to a couple of hundred for some really decent lenses. So I would look for something that is an ED lens, uh, something that's relatively short focal length, uh, and obviously something that had a good manufacturing pedigree. And that's easy to find because all of these lenses have been in existence for many, many years. And uh, my thinking is this, a lot of these lenses uh, are pre-DSLR. They are pre-AI lens. Uh, they don't have a lot of the features, the automation that modern lenses have and that modern uh, photographers are looking for. So if you're a professional or even a hobby photographer, these types of vintage, uh, vintage lenses, uh, they might be a novelty, but they're no longer of much use. Meanwhile, for us astrophotographers, these lenses can get an entirely new life as astrophotography lenses. My experience with this lens has been really great, so I'm going to look for something with a shorter focal length, something in the 50 millimeter uh, or less, something in the 18 millimeter perhaps for wide angle uh, broad sky astrophotography, which I've really been enjoying doing, but uh, my regular kit Nikon lens uh, just has too many visual uh, abnormalities on close inspection, so I'm I'm looking for a replacement, and I think one of these might do really well. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope you found this video informative. If you did like the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. And until next time, 
Thanks for watching and clear skies.